17th, this is where almost all the athletes live. It's right next to the rec center and has the best dining hall on campus. Sanford gives off four-star hotel vibes. It just feels like an upper middle class hotel. It has a really good dining hall, a couple LLCs, and it's right next to Frat Row in Dinkytown, so there's always something to do if you want to go out. A very sad and unfortunate place. Bailey's located in St. Paul, which means you need to take public transport or walk a good 50 plus minutes just to get to any of your East Bank classes. Although, it is a very pretty campus with lots of green space and apparently has a very nice community. Superblock. Four halls that are all in the same area, meaning there's always lots to do. They all have communal bathrooms, so that's fun. Individually, they are Frontier, which seems cool and has a lot of good LLCs. Pioneer, great location, cool dining hall, and newly remodeled. Centennial, has a lot of single rooms, I don't know. Territorial is a big party dorm, lots of um <clears throat> socializing goes on. Not great for studying, probably, but oh well. Then there's Comstock, which is kind of tucked away and easy to miss, but also probably has the best location on campus. Every room has one sink per inhabitant, which is very awesome, although they do still have communal bathrooms, which is less awesome. Middlebrook is isolated on West Bank. It's home to the Honors and Arts LLCs. It's the largest dorm, and one positive about it is that there is one semi-private bathroom for every couple of double rooms. This is a handy place to live if you're majoring in music, performing arts, or you're in Carlson. Also, it had a roach infestation this fall, so that was fun. Papa l'Americano